One dark night five years ago, when the harbour arm was covered in snow, Countess Cora was stolen away, missed by her sister every day. So Duchess Delilah built a fine boat of junk scrap and clockwork in hope it would float. And so she set sail on the good KFC to bring back her sister wherever she'd be. The day was cold but the sea was calm as the ship sailed from Folkestone's arm. Duchess Delilah and her faithful friend Waddles knew nothing yet of the voyager's troubles. Wait, wait, cried a voice, a voice from the sea, said the lobster Liberto, is there room for me? Please let me aboard the good KFC. Delilah's crew amounted to three. The third through the day, and came upon the night, cried Captain Delilah, this ship needs a light. Just then, a star shot through the sky. She said, I'll be the star that you can stay by. Captain Delilah cried, follow that star. I must find you, sister, wherever you are. Liberto's quest was to find the treasure. He hoped that both were safe together. As the ship sailed on, the unknown ahead, monstrous waves rose from a coloured seabed. A giant hand from the bubbling sea dragged down the crew at the poor KFC. Down in the depths on the dark ocean floor, stars shone a light to reveal a door. It was guarded by beasts who lurked in the sand and played catchy tunes in the octopus band. As the band danced and played, the crew snuck away. With Waddle's magic key, through the door they were free. Into a world of metal and rust, poisonous trees and bright plastic dust. Robotic creatures hungry for junk. Our crew needed to do a quick bunk. The KFC sailed full speed ahead. We're now Delilah, Liberto said. But their captain was watching a small dancing dot. It was growing and growing and growing a lot. Feed it or it will eat us. Feed it or it will defeat us. It's eating everything we throw. But the more it eats, the bigger it will grow. Look at that, how fantastic. Feed the black hole plants, not plastic. It's shrinking, shrinking, now it's disappeared. But this plastic ocean should be feared. They sped past the island with evil hands, hands of ears to shut out the sounds. The Berto's mind and treasure, the precious stone. He stoked the engine, full speed away from home. Suddenly they spotted the truly welcoming sight of Turtle Island green and bright, but the seas grew stormy and the prospects were gory. Answer my riddle! And I all cried. A Cora, the stone and your light inside. The human torch showed us the way to find all that was gone astray. And with that, the eyeball splashed away into the stormy seas of Turtle Bay. SOS, the ship is wrecked, cried Delilah from the deck. Suddenly, there on the turtle's shell, Jack Cooper waves his arms and yells, This seed will help you on your quest, from there follow the turtle west. Our heroes watched as the giant grew, from the sea that Cooper threw, in seedy as the giant, despite his scale. Gently fixed the vessel sail. His thorny limbs took crew and boat and kindly set them back afloat. Then west they headed towards dark skies, questioning if it was really wise. The sea was rough, the crew grew afraid. Sighed the star, alas, my powers fade. And then came sight that everyone feared. The roaring skull crusher fleet appeared. 
armed with grappling hooks and spikes. This army was truly here to fight. The KFC then took flight, flung by waves and out of sight. The storm, it tossed the ship and the crew out of danger, somewhere new, a place where the horizon meets the sky, a house in the clouds way up high. Out of the house appeared a figure, his face was bright, its beam grew bigger. As foretold by Eyeball's rhyme, the human torch was just in time. A trusty crew followed the beam to the harbour realm where, like a dream, stood Countess Cora back at home, holding the treasure, the precious folkstone.